Okay, so one of the things we did when we first set up your Mac was we set you up with a Google Drive account that you'll be able to use using your Knox County Schools email to turn in work to your teachers. In order to do this effectively, you need to be using the Chrome browser. So get rid of Safari, get rid of Firefox, go to Chrome. And so I'm going to be showing you this in Chrome. If I'm already here and I'm logged in, you should see your name up here at the top. Um, and just so you know, you can come in here and you can change this um, to be a different name here. And I'm going to say work account. Okay, so I can rename that. So you can rename your account. Um, and you should be able to see uh, if you click on the menu item, which is we call that the three hot dogs up here in the upper right hand corner and click on settings. You should see up here at the top, you're signed in to your Google Drive account. You're signed into Chrome, which is separate. You're signed into Chrome, you're signed into the browser of Chrome and make sure down here at the bottom, uh, I'm going to get rid of these people because I've been practicing with this and I want to make sure they're gone. So when you come down here, you should just see your work account. Make sure these two boxes are checked. They should be by default. Just make sure that they are. So if you have a Google Drive account that you've already been using with your personal Gmail, which I do, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on this icon that says work account. And I'm going to say I want to switch persons. Now, the ones that I have on the computer already will show up here. I only have the one. And so right here, I'm going to click Add a Person. And very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And so now it will tell me I am now signed in. And you'll see up here at the top, I have my name up here. Okay. And if I pull down here, I now have two totally separate browsers that I am able to work in. One, my Gmail account for my Google Drive for school. So I'll pull that up. And all of my extensions are loading, Hangouts coming up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so all that's happening. And then behind it here, I have my personal account. Um, and again, all of my browsers, all of my add-ons are loading, which takes a while. Um, and it just keeps doing that. So while it's doing that, I'm going to log into my Google Drive account. Uh, here's Drive. You'll see that I have a lot of things that are loading in the background. Um, and they'll all load up the first time you come in and then, it, then it'll be done and it'll already be connected. So here you'll see I have my personal Google Drive in a browser. And I want you to look at the difference here. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this back down and pull this one up. Let's Notice here I have all of these add-ins in Chrome under my Gmail account. I don't have any of those up here. Um, I don't have any of those related to anything in my Knox County Schools. So I can go back and forth between the two, um, between the two accounts very easily. Okay, now watch what happens. If I close this out and I'm just working in my Knox County Schools address, if I do the control click on Google Chrome, look at how easy this is. I can just go back and forth between these two, or I can control click on work account and also choose my other account. Easy peasy. All right, we'll look at some more Chrome stuff here in a minute.